Hey, welcome back. This is Bo with Designs by Bo. I would like to thank you guys again for stopping by and checking out my videos where I use Inkscape to show you guys how to do different graphic design things. Um, please, guys, watch my videos all the way through and please, please subscribe. Guys, it's free. It won't hurt you. I need your support. Please, um, trying to get to a thousand subscribers um the month of february so uh if you guys could just subscribe i have many more videos you guys can check the description i have many more to come um that being said let's get into the video in this video i'm going to show you guys how to remove the background from an image using inkscape okay guys and this image we have a bird and we're going to remove the blue background from this picture so to do that what we're going to do is come over to our selection toolbar and we're going to select the draw bezier or bezier however you want to pronounce it curves and straight lines where you can hit shift f6 i'm going to just click on that and what we want to do is we're going to use this tool if you can see how it works when you click it leaves a node and then you can just drag the node as far you as you want to in any direction as you want to and what we're going to do is use this to trace the outline of the bird by clicking it every time we want to change directions or make a curvature in the um, in the image but what I'm going to do, guys, to simplify this is show you guys how to do this without having to make a curve. And when I say make a curve line, a curve, I mean a curve line. And I'll show you guys what I mean by curve line. So you have to get a curve line, you first need two, at least two points because you have to have something to start with. So you have the first point, you click that to get your first node. Then you click it again to get a second node. And if you click the second time and then hold and don't let go, and then you drag it up or down, you'll get a curvature in your line. And then you could just, while always holding the left click button, you can just go scroll in any direction and it'll change the shape of the line. And if you can see that curve, uh, when you come to something like this part of the bird, you can get that curve. But I'll show you guys how to do that without all these extra steps, um, how to get a lot of detail without curving your image. So, in order to undo what you've done, you just hit Control Z, and then it'll undo everything. So let's show. Let me show you guys what I do to get a lot of detail and a lot of the curves without having to do a lot of curve, if any, uh, curving or um, anything that has to do with curving this. Guys, my trick for accomplishing this is to, with the Bezier tool, is to hold control, and if you hit the scroll on your mouse button, you can zoom in. And if you zoom in, the, the further you can zoom in, the easier this will be, because you can get the detail without having to um, because you're so far focused or drilled into the image, when you make straight lines, they'll appear to be um, curved lines. If you can see what I mean, as, as the pixelation happens in an image, as you scroll in, if you can see this, this image actually has this shape. It drops down, goes, comes up. There's really... If you look, there's so much, the closer you get, the it, because of pixelation, these are pixels. Pixels are squares. So everything you're seeing here is squares that are being interpolated from a distance as a curve. But since you're so micro-tuned into the image, you get a look of a curve. So by using your zoom, you're able to duplicate what the image the pixelation of the image has duplicated. So I usually just make simple lines and 
It's just going to click each one around the shape. And as you can see, when I'm done, you'll see exactly what I mean. I'm not making any curves. These are all straight lines going And you're just going to basically outline the image. And if you can see this just from the naked eye, these actually these lines as you're looking here, this actually looks like curves are being made, and it's not. And just use a scroll wheel to scroll up and down. And this doesn't have to be perfect, guys, but if you want to be perfect, you guys can make a whole bunch of just small, just short distance nodes but I'm just going to for the sake of this video I'm just going to skip through a lot of it um, and, and, and stretch out my distances and you guys are seeing me go like this real easy left and right all you do is hold control I mean hold shift to go right to left you hold control and then um, scroll up and down in the map with the mouse and it'll go it'll go left to right and if you hold control and scroll in it'll zoom in and out so those are your easy shortcuts to be able to do that once you practice that enough guys you'll get that down packing this will this whole process will be much faster for you um, and if you want to just go up and down you don't have to do anything you just scroll up and down on the mouse like you would normally do on any program or web page but so I'm going to continue and then again you'll get faster if you can see this this looks like a curve but when you're clicking faster and moving it'll actually put a little curve to the line but it takes practice to do this it's like you're switching your, dis your direction as you're clicking and it'll put a curve in there But for the sake of a beginner, you can just continually click small little lines. And since this is such a long, almost straight line, we'll just drag this one all the way up there. just want to stay on the um, just at the borders of the shape that you want to keep and the um, background that you want to delete and you're just going to keep clicking as you go around And again, this doesn't have to be perfect unless you need extreme detail, which case the best thing to do would be to zoom in as tightly as you can and take your time and hit every detail that you need to show up in the image. And I'm doing this all in real time, guys, just so that you get a full grasp of what's happening and how quickly you can do this. And if, if, if this wasn't a tutorial video, guys, I could do this a lot quicker than I'm doing it. But for the sake of people who are new to these videos and new to Inkscape, which is who most of my videos are catered to, because I try to show you things that most people that are familiar with Inkscape would know. Um, but I mean, I taught myself how to use this program by using it for many different things. You know, sometimes you have projects that you want done and you have somebody do things for you and they tell you that if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. So 
a lot of times I end up redoing things and because it doesn't turn out the way that my brain envisioned it when somebody else is in control of it. So I tend to end up doing a lot of these types of things myself and it happens so often that I found myself just doing things after repetition you learn how to just do things and you're much quicker at them than you ever really paid attention to and then it negates the need to have someone else doing this and I learned it by just trying to program and just going to people's videos and seeing what they were doing and incorporating those things um, that I couldn't figure out myself into what I was doing and the result is me now paying it forward and teaching what I know of this program. Again, guys, I'm only using um, a series of straight lines. No curves are being purposefully put into this. And you can see the result um, after we're done. And for you guys that we're not privy to what I said in the beginning how I started this off was zooming in very tightly to the image and what that does is that allows you the ability to use these lines um, and get great detail um, see guys what's happening is as you're seeing this video you're seeing these lines, they're, they appear to be um, inches long that I'm actually creating. But actually, because I'm zoomed in so far, these are mere, the points between each other are mere um, if you're looking at the picture in its full detail, just without being zoomed in, it's some of these lines are less than a millimeter in, in actual size. But they'll appear, because I've zoomed in, they'll appear to be much larger than they are. The strokes appear to be much larger than they are and by zooming in those lines will give me finer detail in the image that I'm selecting and I accidentally scrolled in too far and I'm adjusting myself and if you can see even zooming in even further will get you even more because these blurs these are actually motion blurs in the image so this is the real bird here feathers and then this gray is motion blur so to get more of the detail you can even get in a little tighter but I'm just gonna continue because we're almost there and when this is all done you guys you're going to see how I'm able to use a bunch of basically straight lines to get a lot of fine detail, even curves, which will appear to be curves. But due to the pixelation, they're not actually curves because pixels, again, pixels are not circles. Pixels are squares. And the computer is interpolating the image through a series of squares. It's 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 using squares of various sizes to depict detail, which translates basically into shapes. And then the the, the shadowing or the shading or the coloring of those shapes is what gives you the actual image. So we're back, and you see this is a curve, and we're just going to hit boom, 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 and 
we're going to end that. And if you see this, this almost appears to be a curve. But if I zoom in, you guys will actually see the straight lines here, 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 here. These are all straight lines. But as I pull back and zoom out, they look like curves. So now that we have the image completely outlined, what we're going to do is come up here and cl click on the Select and Transform Objects, the um, selection arrow. And we have this image selected. So now what we want to do is now hit Shift and, cl and left click on the blue section and this by doing that when you hold shift you can select multiple items by holding shift and hitting clicking the left and now that we have the image that we the outline that we want of what we want and then the image that we want to extract it from both selected we're going to come and then right click and then go to down here where it says set clip and then you click that and Voila, you have your bird separated from the background. And if you guys look at this, this is actually in its original. Uh, actually, it'll probably be about this big. And if you see that bird, it's in its original, almost original pictorial detail. You see curves and everything everywhere. There's curves in this. But... I use straight lines to make curves because of the technique that I showed you guys. And let me show you a little bit. For contrast sakes, we'll show a little bit of detail. Uh, I'm just going to put a box over this just to add a background. And then I just click it and drop that to the back. And now you can see how much detail is still there in the bird. And with the background of your own, you can make that pop and you can do any color you want for your background. It doesn't make a difference, whatever you want to choose. But guys, that's it. Um, that was a video on how to remove the background from an image in Inkscape. Please, guys, um, I need you to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get this month. I wanna. I'm going to work hard to get a thousand subscribers this month. I believe it can be done, but I got. I can't do it by myself. You guys have to support the channel. Um, I give a lot of detailed techniques in these videos. I give a lot of my knowledge, and I don't ask you guys for any money or anything to do anything. For me I just need you guys just to hit the subscribe button if you could just click subscribe and then go away if you want to I just need that support the only support I need for you guys is to just click subscribe that's it and all the information that I've given you a thousand dollars worth of information you can have it for free just click subscribe please um, that's it guys see you on the next one this is your boy Bo designs by Bo